Hi everyone, this is Rachel. I asked on the Nicole Jones 911 Facebook group if anyone would, be, anyone would be interested in seeing me do an album share of my last year's December Daily, and there seemed to be some interest, so I thought I'd go ahead and do this. What I'm going to do is just put up a whole bunch of photos and kind of describe either what I did design-wise or what I did idea-wise for a Christmas photo or a non-Christmas photo, but relating to tradition. And I wanted to share uh, the three things I think helped me finish my December Daily when I did it. The first is that I prepared all of the base layers before December. I actually went to a 12-hour crop and got three quarters of it done there. And then I finished the next, uh, the last of it up uh, the weekend after Thanksgiving. The second thing I did was I actually took a class, I believe, uh, scrapinspire.com. I don't remember the woman's name who taught it, but that was what I did. That's where I did it. I don't know if she's doing it this year, but I think there are enough people on the Nicole Jones Facebook group that here is a good place, and there's also classes on many different websites for that. The third thing I did was I put together a kit, and I only used that kit. I used the Simple Stories Christmas line from last year, a package of buttons, um, some washi tape, some gold glitter tape by American Crafts, a piece of glitter paper from American Crafts, uh, the Prima wood veneer, uh, the Simple Stories Snap album, 6x8 in paper, sorry, and yeah, page protectors uh, that are PL style, but it's a mix, so there are some 6x8 layouts and then some uh, PL pages. Now, sorry, the last thing I did, so I guess it's four things, is I wrote out uh, all 31 days, because I did the whole month of December, and wrote each day, like, days I knew, like, if there was a concert, or if I knew I was doing something Christmassy, days I knew I was doing something important, but not Christmassy, and then also just various Christmas-themed things I wanted to record, as I don't plan on doing a daily December every year, I'm going to try to do one maybe every third year or so. Now, if you'll note, the one is missing from my 2013. I know where the one is. I have to glue it down. It's one of those things where when you think about it, it's not a good time to do it. And when it's a good time to do it, you don't think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and start the voiceover, and I will come back at the end and talk again. Bye. Well, here's my cover. I use some pattern paper. The uh, tree is chipboard, and then I ran some washi and some glitter tape down. My front cover uses the American Crafts glitter paper with one of the cutouts and some washi tape and the stickers. I used the other side of the non-page protected thing to do my first day. We went and saw White Christmas as a classic series at the movie theater. And then here's just a picture of some decorating I had done. I had gotten all our Christmas stuff out with some Project Life cards and, the, oh, star uh, wood veneer. Some more cards. I use gold Dear Lizzie thickers and some of the Project Life, I'm sorry, not Project Life, the cards from the Simple Stories. These were all pre-done. I did do some gifts that started arriving some, from some online ordering that we had done. And here's my first double page. Uh, my niece gave a concert at her music store as part of the tree lighting ceremony for the town. Her uh, saxophone group uh, performed individually. And then I wanted to write about the decorating we do, so I took one small photo and used some line paper from the Simple Stories line. And here I wanted to talk about the Christmas movies I like, and I just took a little snapshot of a movie we've been watching, Miracle on 34th Street and hot cocoa. Who doesn't like holiday hot cocoa? This one's very simple. I just backed a pre-done card on another card to give it some uh, weight. And then I talked about Christmas music. I just stuck a CD I'd purchased in my tree and took a picture of it. And I used a lot of stickers on that nine card. And here are some things uh, talking about the first snow and a party I went to. And I did put the thing of uh, the banner across the whole way. Here's one I forgot to unpan from, but it's just um, a picture of the snow the next day. And then here is one where they have the strip that Mary is actually chipboard. And I'm just talking about something Christmassy that day. This day was a non-Christmassy day. We went and saw a play my niece's best friend was in, but you know, traditionally we go to plays in the winter. 
And then this is talking about a Girl Scout thing we did in the morning, and then we went to a party and it snowed again. So I wanted to share, when I went to an, a crop, this beautiful inn, I took a great shot because it had snowed the day before, and then I took a selfie in the mirror. And here's another double layout of my, Chris, my niece's Christmas concert at her school. And I did her getting ready on one side, and then a two four by sixes on the other. And this is a pre-done card on top, and then I just put some washi tape along the bottom about a cookie swap at work. And here is us making uh, holiday buttons, which are the pretzel chocolate M&M things that are all over the Pinterest. And here I talk about the Christmas cards I made, and that I use, actually use pretty much the same that I use for this December Daily, and then Christmas cards I made as a swap for an online group I'm part of. That ampersand is actually a sticker I put over the pre-done ampersand on the paper. Another double page layout about my niece and another concert she does as she belongs to a group at a local college. And then this is me talking about, we finally decorated the tree, we put the tree up and then never had a chance to actually put ornaments up. And here is the day before Christmas Eve, and the Christmas crazies have set in as my niece tries to sit in a box. So now we come to Christmas Eve, which is actually when our big party happens at my, my grandmother's house. And then also on Christmas Eve, my niece gets brand new pajamas. The elves leave them for her. Here's a double page for Christmas Day. Uh, Christmas morning, and then putting in the new ornaments on the tree. And then the day after Christmas is actually my niece's birthday. Here she's turning 13. And so I wanted to put that in because it's important. And it is traditional every year we celebrate. We then went to the traditional doing the returns. And we came across a sign that says 364 days until Christmas. So we thought that was very funny. And we have ferrets. This is a picture of one of the ferrets. One of the things she loves is balloons. So we did that uh, because she loves balloons. And then the day before Christmas Eve, uh, the day before the day before Christmas Eve, both my niece and her best friend got haircuts, major pixie cuts. So we put that in. And this is just a cute picture of the cat deciding to take the new rug and bunch it up to use as a pillow. And then we're getting close to Christmas, uh, New Year's Day. And so we go to a party at a friend's house, and this was just pictures of that uh, using the gold paper and then a lot of the blues that were in the line. And this is just the last page of the layout. So thank you very much. Okay, so that is it for my album share. I hope I made sense, and I hope I answered any questions you have. If you do have any questions regarding uh, one of the choices I made or a picture I took or anything at all, please feel free to leave it in the comments or, uh, you know, put it on Nicole Jones' Facebook group. I'm sure I'll see it there. I hope everyone has a great holiday season and a fruitful December daily. And I hope you like this and have a good day. Bye, everybody.